as a historian, I am forced to say when I look at the rise of early Christianity and why it took the shape it did, there are all sorts of things which make me say, I cannot actually explain how Christianity got going as a, a, a renewal movement in Judaism in the first century and why it took this specific shape unless they really all did believe that Jesus was really bodily raised from the dead. And when you say, but why would they believe that? Could this have been a corporate hallucination or whatever? You can look at those arguments, and I've looked at them and I've written about them, and actually that doesn't work either. They knew about hallucinations. They knew about ghosts. They knew about odd, wacky experiences. There's plenty of literature about that in the ancient world. And, and they, they weren't so stupid as just to go wafting off on some idea like that. This was a very definite thing. He really has been raised from the dead. And that was why they did and said what they did. We know of several Jewish resistance movements, messianic movements, rebel movements. Routinely, they ended with the death of the founder. And we have in the histories of Josephus and so on, um, accounts of what, what happened next. If the man you followed, who you believe is the king, the new leader, um, the one God has sent, etc., if he gets killed, you have a choice. Either you give up the movement or you get yourself another leader. And we've got evidence of movements that do one or other of those things. Um, in no case do we have people going around saying, actually, I think he's been raised from the dead.